Buongiorno, buonasera, benvenuti amici, welcome my friends, and welcome to this second episode of a series of five where Fountain Pen Therapy shall be presenting their annual pen awards. And in this second category, we'll be looking at the best design pen. And the nominees are... So welcome back, and uh, we'll now look at my uh, 12 nominees for the what I consider the best design in a fountain pen, um, including best original design, if you will, and w combined with the fact that you need to consider prices as well, because you can have some very elaborate, exquisite designs, but the pen costs you three, four thousand dollars, and that you know, uh, if it becomes unaffordable, then it it weighs into. Uh, as one of the factors that I've considered. And obviously, when you look at best design pen, I'm limited to my collection. Uh, and you understand that we're just having some fun. It gives me an opportunity to share with you some of the pens that I have in my collection and some of my thoughts. And that's really the ultimate goal here. Uh, uh, you know, it's, it, it's, it's, it's to have fun and enjoy and it's fountain pen therapy as you will so without any further ado here's my number 10 on my list for best design and this is the uh, pilot uh, vanishing point uh, you've got to give it credit it is uh, its design is is something that you consider uh, the point as as the name indicates vanishes uh, so you it disappears so i think it deserves this is a more limited edition that I have in my collection. I think it's. Uh, uh, I think we should all have a pen like this in our collection. It has a very unique nib uh, system in in the interior. Uh, so um, it, you know, it it's also very unique in terms of how the clip ends up really being your your guide when you when you write with it, which is totally totally unique. Um, so I had to give it, it had to be, first of all, part of my uh, 12. And, you know, I had some thoughts of putting this thing way up there just because of the original design. But uh, but I resisted the temptation, but it definitely makes my, my top 10. So that's the pilot. Next on my list is a Pen BBS pen. Um, I think the Pen BBS Chinese manufacturer has gone a long way to um, make up for the very bad reputation I think that uh, or the bad rap that Chinese pens have had over the years because they have a tendency to to copy pen BBS as uh, I came up with I don't know how many models and you know 20 30 different models all unique in themselves different filling mechanisms wonderfully crafted resins at enormously affordable prices. I mean, you can get all of their pens for, you know, the cost of one elaborate, uh, exquisite Italian pen, if you will. You know, this thing I think went for like $30, $40. Look at this resin on this thing. I think it it deserves a mention, and that's why Pen BBS made my list. Now, I had, out of all the pens that I have, I had to choose one, and I chose the 355. The 355 model it's a nice chunkier bigger pen um, the resin is a, a limited edition resin i've put in a just a knox nib in this one but they have some very nice fine nibs the filling mechanism is unique as well so you know i think that in terms of design um, and value this definitely makes my top 10. there you go Next in uh, best design, I think you need to include the Lamy. The Lamy is the one of the unique fountain pens in the world. Uh, very, very unique styling. The Chinese, I know, have tried to copy it, but uh, you know, it, it. You can't say there are similar pens out there um, that that share this design. Uh, you can they come in with all kinds of nibs even the nib is 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 different uh, this one is a is a huge stub the um, where you put your fingers is unique uh, it's a cartridge or a, a converter 
style. You can find them in different colors and different sh- different uh, models, but ultimately the same design, if you will. So the Lamy has a sweet spot in my heart uh, as one of the better design pens, uh, and that's a classic. So there you go. That's the Lamy. Next on my list, even though they may not be uh, amongst my favorite pen manufacturers, you've got to include a Visconti. Now, there are, there are other more, I would say, better deserving Visconti pens that should have made my list. I just can't, can't afford them. <laughs> um, and that's one of the reasons why I don't have too many Viscontis. They're just, you know, they're, they price themselves right out of the market. But this is my Rembrandt, and this unique clip, okay, uh, with the with the uh, the capping, um, it also this exquisite exquisite uh, nib that it has, um, I think, makes it on my list. It's a unique pen; it deserves to be on my list. So my Rembrandt uh, is there my Visconti Rembrandt, and despite all the issues I've been having with their nibs, um, I still had to include it. If they can get their nibs right, let me tell you, and make their pens a little more affordable, uh, it's just too bad. They just, you know, it's for somebody else. They price themselves right out of the market, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Next well-designed pen, I think, is my Stipula Etruria, uh, and this particular model, the Rainbow Prisma, um, the, the design on this is just, it's all in the resin. They managed to get that rainbow effect. The pump system is also very unique. The, um, the trimmings are very unique. So in my collection, this has a special, special place in my heart, the Stipula Etruria. Next on my list is the Maiora Posilipo Impronte. I think we've seen this design. Maybe yes, maybe no. I think it's unique. I think it's unique. Just the shaping is unique. The resin is just absolutely exquisite. Um, Simple clip, nice trimmings. The the nibs are are, uh, well, well, well tuned. You've got the Mayora logo on it. Just the whole The feel and the manufacturing, the quality in this pen is fabulous. You know, you have other resin pens and you can tell they're clinky clunky, as they say. Uh, They're just, you know, acrylic and, you know, slapped together very sloppily. But the the design on this pen, the hourglass shape for your fingers, the weight that this pen has, it, it, it just evokes quality and design. How can I not include this Mayora? I mean, the next series of pens easily could have made been my winners. I just had to, you know, choose, unfortunately. So this Mayora, and what a nice size pen. I mean, I, it's just, just nice, nice. I, I can't, I don't have an, enough good words about it. Also, I, I mustn't forget the, you know, that you can access the, uh, the uh, converter from the top so you don't have to open it up. Uh, you know, well, well designed and well-manufactured pen. Congratulations, Mayora. Next on my list, and again, these could just, you know, one could replace the other, is my Joya Erleria. You know, nice, nicely designed clip. Uh, Perhaps a standard um, or a design that we've seen before, but rather than being torpedo-shaped, it's flat-topped, so it kind of gives you a squarish look the way they've they've um, they've find or, or you know just smoothened out and made the finial a little bit smaller than the top gives it gives it a different uh, different look the trimmings are just well done the the um, the resin and the chatoyancy on this blue resin is majestic uh, again high quality design it's got heft it's got size it's got quality written all over it 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 fits in your hand like just just how can you not want to write with a pen like this that's what i say 
It's just exquisite. Um, the the Joe nib, it's got the Joya logo on it. So uh, there you go. I think this is also accessible from, no, this was not accessible from the top. So that is my uh, next Joya Laria, and they've got different versions of this. So it makes my top 10 list. Next on my list is a less expensive pen, but again, uh, Opus 88 has become one of my favorite pen manufacturers. I think they make wonderful, wonderful pens, and they have all kinds of permutations and combinations. And this is my Opus 88 Bella. Again, a very, very nice big pen. Look, look at the design on this clip. Very nice. It's got the nice finial look. Um, you know, streamlined in the middle. When you open it up, it's got my titanium Bach nib. Uh, drawing system similar to the Opus 88 demonstrator, but take a look at this pen. Um, very, very nice resin. It's got a nice swirl, uh, and it comes in different colors. So I think this is a finely, finely designed pen, excellent value, and I cherish it tremendously. Next on my nib is my, uh, my Partenope. Now, look at this pen. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm at loss of words. It, it, it's a joy, yeah? You can tell the, the unique clip. It's got, it's got uh, you know, the Gulf of Naples uh, embossed at the top. Look at the top, the Joya logo on top. This white ivory is just, just, just fabulous. I don't know if you can appreciate the, the quality of that resin, but it's just, for me, it's, it's, it's a wonderfully designed pen. Uh, I mean, you know, you've got to give it some votes here. And then you open it up, it's got that, you know, red, that red, no, I should say, rosé, rosé gold, rose gold finish, beautiful nib, it's a stub, it's got the, it's got the, uh, the logo on it, the Choya logo, uh, you know, the, the unique purplish blue trimming, the Italian flag obviously gives it away, it's made in Italy, that's for sure. So my Partenobe is, belongs there. It's number four on my list, but like I said, it could easily have made my number one. Number three on my list, and now we get to the top three. Number three on is this, this Amalfi Delta. Um, I, I think it's one of my first pens that I've reviewed, and you can check that review out. It's just uh, one of the more elaborate and well-designed pens. It's got, you know, golf. It's got olive tree... Uh, you know, uh, made from olive tree from Malfi, the blue that evokes the sea, the sky. Uh, it's got the 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 Amalfi uh, crest. Uh, it's got the cross here, beautiful delta delta clip. Uh, you know, more design here. Uh, and the design here, you open it up, and it has a lighter blue with the fusion nib. I mean, I can you. How can you go wrong? This is definitely one of my favorite pens. Well designed, the Magnifica Amalfi makes my number three. Number two on my list, I mean, you cannot do a top 10 or a top 12 without including a Leonardo Officina. Now, Leonardo Officina, the Memento Zero pens, a different just slightly different designs. I had to choose one of them, and I chose this Stardust. This is the Grande Memento Zero number two. You know, they've evolved. They started with two, with two, um, uh, two bands, two line bands. They went to three. This has got a three and a fourth one. Uh, so the Memento Zero, I think, is a wonderfully designed pen and would make uh, anybody's list. There it is, Leonardo Officina Italiana. It's got a window here. It's got a wonderfully crafted nib, Leonardo uh, design, the Leonardo branded nib. Uh, this is amongst my favorite, one of my favorite pens. The, the resin on this particular one, and all resins, I think, frankly, used by our exquisite 
this one, the chateauancy on this is just, just, just as fabulous. There you go. So that's my number two, my runner-up, if you will. And the winner of the 2023 pen award going to the best designed pen is my Dolce Vita, my new Dolce Vita, if you will. This is the Delta DV Premier. So this is Dolce Vita number two. Couldn't afford the number one, but I put my hands on a number two. It's a Delta design. This is a design that will that has existed for years. It will continue to 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 shine in our pen collections. It is my number one pick for this year. And there you go. It's a limited edition. Delta Italy. Delta is back. Um, my video is is gone wild. People are enjoying that video. I, uh, I I invite you to take a look at it. It'll give you all of the the details of this pen. When you open it up, there is the Delta a Delta nib, a branded nib. It, there it is. It's a wonderfully designed pen. It is number one on my list. And for some of you that might be asking, this Delta is in fact bigger than the original Delta uh, Dolce Vita. So there you have it. Those are my top 12 best design pens. You'll find them all here um, for your, for you. I've had a lot of fun, so I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe. If you have any comments, leave them down. Take a look at the description. I've got the full list there. Thank you very much and good night. <laughs>